ViewWorks allows you to quickly create and place clipped views on a drawing. We can get this accomplished in two ways, with the Line View tab and with the Named Views tab. Line View allows the user to select from a list of saved line numbers in a drawing and insert a works box around the components on the associated line number. In this video, we will take a look at how the Named View tab allows the user to quickly create a custom view to be placed on a drawing. Let's start off by naming our view. Once we have the desired name in our view name field, an offset value can be entered that will determine how far the works box will be set away from the chosen components. Once set, we move on to the view we would like to have placed on our sheet. By clicking the boxes, you are activating and deactivating views. With name, offset, and views now set, we can place our works box by selecting the insert button. When selected, ViewWorks will now allow the user to select components and begin to place a single works box outline around those selected components. Now, we can change the view in our model. Select the works box and use the grip to snap or just place the works box boundary at a preferred location. We can continue to look at different views and easily place the works box as needed. As you can see, by double clicking the works box, the view name and the views can be verified or changed at any point. A key feature with ViewWorks is the ability to see how your view will look before you place it on a sheet. This helps with efficiency and eliminates trial and error when setting up drawings. At the top of the ViewWorks palette, there is a named view list. This is a list of views for each works box created. Hit the drop down button, select an option, and set current. We can now see the front and back clipping range of our works box. Select Remove Clipping to remove the clipping. Once you have your works box set, save your drawing. We can now go into our paper space and bring in a created view. Using the Layout tab on the ViewWorks palette, expand the drop down on the model where the works box was added. If you do not see your models in this list, hit the refresh button. Otherwise, please see our video on ViewWorks settings and pathing. After verifying your views, select the viewport scale to be placed in your drawing. Select the view to be placed, then hit the insert button when ready. Finally, with a quick plot, you will see how the view or views that you have placed will look.